Hi everybody, this is Heather from SisterWigs.com and today I'm bringing you my first ever gray wig review um, because there are actually quite a few gray shades that I think look really cute that I would just love to show you because I do know that there is quite a large uh, audience out there for gray wigs um, and you know long short curly straight doesn't matter they want to see what the colors look like in various styles so this is my first attempt to accommodate that while also showcasing the Suzanne wig by Aesthetica the color is called R51 LF60 so this is a medium kind of cool gray with a light frost of this very light light gray, like an almost silvery white gray. So overall it gives it a very pretty, almost frosted, well it is frosted, <laughs> so light frosted um, silvery tone. It's very, very pretty. It's one of my, my favorite grays from the Aesthetica line. Um, and I think it actually looks very pretty in this particular style. Um, Suzanne is a classic sleek graduated bob. It is short. It is chin length. It's very very flattering and it looks very chic in gray shades as well as any other shade under the sun. Um, it has a monofilament part and the part is very natural looking. Let me see if I can part that just a little bit better for you or at least enough so you can see the monofilament. There you go. The wig color is quite light um, but yeah, it's, it's a very pretty monofilament. This also has a lace front and it's a nice lace front too. Very natural looking. And you could easily train this hair um, with a little bit of water and maybe some synthetic friendly, um, uh, hairspray to stay up because you do have to part it on the one side. My camera flip flops everything. So this part is actually on the right side. So Take note of that right side part. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, you could easily train this to go um, this way because naturally right out of the box it just kind of wants to flop in your face, which is also very becoming. Um, so I guess it just depends on your preferences. There's a good amount of coverage on the sides. I have a very wide face. Um, so unless you also have a wide face, you have nothing to worry about by seeing that little bit show through there especially if your bio hair is gray, you're going to be fine. Um, here's what the side looks like. Super sleek, very, very flattering for the, for the chin and jawline. I keep saying chin in lieu of jaw, but it's that jawline. It goes right to it and it just really highlights it and makes it look really, really nice. Um, and here's this side. Very sleek. This hair almost makes me think of Meryl Streep from The Devil Wears Prada, just a little bit. I mean, it's not the exact same cut, um, but just this combination of color and this style definitely makes me think of that a little bit because she also had a very chic, very sleek cut like this and, and this kind of a light silvery gray. It's very, very becoming. So. And, you know, if you're feeling adventurous, I mean, I know a lot of uh, people who do not have gray hair already um, who also like to wear the grays. If you are interested in a gray wig, even if, um, you know, your hair isn't that way yet, go for it. I mean, I actually think that if you pick the right combination of color and style, like the right gray shade and the right style, oh, it can look so, so sharp. Just really cute. Um, like this could almost pass for a platinum, except it's got that cool undertone to it. Um, that, that, that very steely kind of silvery gray. So pretty. I, could, I wish I could dye my hair to look like this, but <laughs> my hair is way too red um, and brown. So I'm going to go ahead and take this off so you can see what the cap construction looks like. So, as I mentioned before, Suzanne has a monofilament part, which is right there. Um, and right here you, you have um, it, it just, let me show you. There is no permatease in this wig that I'm aware of. 
from, and I just want to double check that. Yeah, that's just indicating that that's the top of the wig. And then um, here is the lace front on that. It's a very nice lace front. Stretch technology, open, wefted back and sides, highly adjustable. This is part of their Natural collection, um, which is some of my favorite wigs come from Aesthetica's Natural collection and Aesthetica's High Society collection because they have very nice monofilament. Um, Aesthetica in general is a brand that tends to cater to brick and mortar stores. So um, actually, I think it should be no surprise that most of the time when you go to a wig store that specializes in chemo wigs, nine times out of ten, half the store is going to be full of Aesthetica wigs. So why not just cut that off right at the head, and um, that was so not intended to be a gruesome pun, I'm sorry, but, you know, look into them. They're good stuff. Um, I once went to a brick and mortar store, and this is actually the story that led to me buying my Jameson. Um, I went in there, and I tried her on, and I looked at the back of the tag, and I knew this was a synthetic wig. They were charging $700. $700. Now, I know you have overhead in a brick-and-mortar store. Believe me, I know. Um, but enough to justify charging $700 for a $150 wig? No, 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 no. To me, that's highway robbery. Um, and this wig is actually quite reasonably priced because she only has a... Um, mono part just like Jameson does. Um, so there you go. All you have to do is comb her with a wide tooth comb once in a while to keep everything in line. Um, and most of the time you'll be able to just smooth that down with your fingers. Um, very, very pretty wig. Very pretty mono part. Very pretty gray color. Again, this color has been R51LF60, which is a silver gray with a light gray frost, almost almost a, a white platinum um, gray, and it has a monofilament part, a lace front. Super cute. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.